8 2 source capacitance CGS in femtofarads for a PMOSFET operating in triode with W equal to 24 micrometers and an L of 0 0.17 micrometers and T aux of 28 angstroms. And if we look at the notes linked below the like button on about page 72, we're going to get more information about this. Our WL is the area of the gate. Our T aux is the gate oxide thickness. And we need to find our CGS. So let's write out an equation for this. Now, it's important to note a few things before you start because the problem might be a little different. So before we start, notice how we're operating in triode. We're also operating with our CGS. That's what we want to find. So on actually page 71, this really gives us a good in triode equation for our CGS. CGS is going to be equal to our CGD, which is also equal to 1 half times our C gate, which is what we want. Now, let's write a little bit more for our C gate. Very important, you include the units here. For our C gate, we're going to get our COX times our WL. Now, let's keep going. We don't know our COX, so we need to solve for it. Our COX is going to be equal to our E naught X over our T naught X. T naught X is going to be our 28 angstroms. Now, for our E naught X, we have to do a little bit of work for this. The E naught X itself is going to be 3.9 times our E naught. So our E naught is going to be 8.854 times 10 to the negative 14. And this is going to be for farad centimeters. Now our TOX is going to be, since we're solving in centimeters, uh, we could put this in meters, but for centimeters, we are going to want to write this. And if we just plug in the value as our 28 times 10 to the negative 8 centimeters. Now let's rewrite everything. So our equation really is going to be 1 half times our WL times our E naught X over our T naught X. We're dealing with centimeters here. However, our WL is in micrometers. We're going to need to convert this to centimeters, but we'll do that in a second. First, we have the following. We have our 1 half. We have our WL, and that's going to be the 24 times the 0 0.17. And then we have our micro, 10 to the negative 6, but we have two of them, so that's squared. And now we have to convert to centimeters. We know that this is actually going to be um, 10 to the 6. We're going to have meters squared. And then inside of here, we're going to have one centimeter is equal to a 10 to the negative 2. We want the 10 to the negative 2 up top, so we're just going to have 10 squared. And this is squared because we have W and L. And this is going to be our centimeters squared because, again, we have our W and L. And then inside of here, we do, it's a little bit big, so I'll just write E naught of X over T naught of X. Get the idea. And then we have our F over our centimeter times our centimeter, so that's squared. And so that means the centimeters squared are going to cancel out. And then we're going to be left with the uh, meter squared for the farads. And that is what we want. Um, when we multiply this out, we're going to have our 1 half right here. We are going to have the 24 times 0 0.17 right here. We have our 10 to the negative 6 squared right here. We have our 10 squared for the centimeters. So that's going to be this orange part right here. And then we have our E naught X, T naught X, so 3.9, 8.84, and then 10 to the negative 14. We have our 28 times 10 to the negative 8 centimeters. And that's going to give us 2.5158. And I made a slight mistake. When we convert this from the meters to centimeters, these meters squared is actually going to be gone because it's just going to be the centimeters squared. So we don't need to include the centimeters squared again, or the meters squared, because it turns into the centimeters squared. So we have 2.5158 times 10 to the negative 14, and this is in farads. We want this in femtofarads, and 1 femto is just 10 to the negative 15. So if we bring that on top, we're basically multiplying it by 10 to the 15th. So all we need to do is move this over 1. So our CGS is going to equal to 2, 5.158, and this is in our femtofarads. So that's how we would go about solving for this problem and anything like it.